Well, ahoy Hi there, cruisers. cruisers. Let's take a look at what's going to be included on your next princess cruise and the things that you'll have to pay extra for. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel right now so you keep up to date with all our brand new videos. So let's talk about your accommodation first. So this is completely included in your cruise. So what you're going to be getting is your accommodation plus a housekeeper twice a day coming into your cabin in the morning to clean it and on the evening to do a nice little turn down for you. You've all equipped with a little chocolate Pillow? Chocolate, chocolate pillow? pillow. Oh, a chocolate, chocolate, can you imagine a chocolate pillow? Give me a chocolate pillow, pillow any day. Treat on your pillow, just don't lay on it and wake up the next forget. morning and be covered in chocolate and it looks like you've <laughs> yourself on the bed. So let's talk. Let's that. <laughs> that was all. What the hell are we talking about? We went from, went from housekeeping off. to pooing on We've the bed. We've gone off piece. <laughs> so let's talk about what you're going to get in your cabin. You'll get things like toiletries, so shampoo and conditioner. So it's quite basic. So bring your own if you like, prefer your own brands. You'll get a refrigerator, queen or twin beds, which can be separated or put together, depending on who you're sleeping with. It's the princess luxury bed, which has been... Uh, brought out on the whole of the fleet and oh my gosh it is super mm -hmm. comfortable isn't it we got to try it out on our last cruise on sapphire princess and it was the so most dreamy bed ever yeah. wasn't it also the television in your rooms included and the newer ships which have been upgraded also include a fantastic range of on-demand content such as movies and tv shows all completely included in the cost of your cruise and it was really good wasn't it we were really, really impressed good. with the uh, the range of entertainment available in the cabin yeah, you're going to get spacious clothing areas, so you get a spacious wardrobe and closet, as well as a safe and hairdryer as well, so you don't need to bring that. Also, bathrobes and slippers are available on request, only if they are available, though, so subject to availability, as they say. Just ask your room steward when you get on board if there's any available. So let's talk about the dining on board and exactly what is included. So the main things that are included are the main dining restaurant. This is the main restaurant on board where you're going to order a la carte and get four course meals every single night. And oh my gosh, how good is the food on Princess? Yeah, we, we really love the food on Princess. Um, it was a real highlight for our cruise that we did on the Sapphire Princess. We thought the main dining room was fantastic. Yeah, so you can go here for lunch, breakfast and dinner. You don't need reservations if you're on the anytime dining. You can go anytime between 5.30 and 10pm. So it's a bit flexible there as well if you're not on the normal traditional side dining. But yeah, that is full waiter service. So you can have all of your meals included there. You'll also have Alfredo's Pizza. Mm -hmm. which we couldn't believe the first time we went on princess that this is actually completely free it's almost like a speciality pizza restaurant yeah it's a sit down restaurant so it's not a takeaway pizza place you do have to sit down and enjoy your pizza in the restaurant but oh. it's all completely included in the cost of your cruise and it's all made fresh as well right so in you, front of yeah, you in so the you, stone baked ovens oh yeah so you order your pizza and they'll make it there for you uh, fresh and it really is delicious it's Easily speciality restaurant quality, but completely free. Also, you have the buffet as well, which is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. This is a fantastic option, a wide range of choice of food. And it's nice if you fancy something different to the main dining room on an evening as well. Yeah, especially on the Royal ship. So the new ship, so the Royal Regal Sky Enchantment. A majestic the buffet is gigantic it's so mm -hmm. fantastic there's a huge array and there's a big desserts like bacon yeah, place it's almost as well. like a separate buffet that's just just cakes. the sweet cakes sweets. and cookies oh amazing and it's so tasty food on some ships you've also got the uh, burger place or the grill for hot dogs and burgers and things and obviously this is fully included in your price as well and also you have the International Cafe, which is usually located in the atrium. This is a 24-hour cafe that is completely included in the cost of your cruise. And it serves things such as sandwiches, salads, small plates, small dishes, treats. And in the morning as well, you can get breakfast yeah. items. Yeah, you've got some lovely cakes and things in the afternoon and cookies. But yeah, it's really good quality food. So you also get 24-hour room service for completely free as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And if you fancy a sweet treat to cool down, there's also free soft serve ice cream available all the time. And there's also the afternoon tea as well, which is lovely. Beautiful. So everything here was completely included in the price of your cruise, completely for free. So should we talk about some of the speciality dining? So this is the up charge dining restaurants where you have to pay an extra cover charge or pay a la carte dining. First up is Sabatini's. This is the onboard Italian speciality restaurant really fantastic restaurant with beautiful food and this is coming in at the moment current pricing is 25 dollars 
per person for a meal. Mm -hmm. so it's not bad, is it? The steak restaurant on board, usually called the Crown Grill, is $29 per person, and this serves steak and seafood. You've also got the Salty Dog as well, which is a gastro pub, so you've got some lovely little dishes. So you pick two dishes from the main menu, that comes in at $12 per person. Things like burgers, hot dogs, and ribs, and things like that, really special, beautiful pub food. Mm. The Kai Sushi Bar is a la carte pricing, meaning that you pay per item. And you also have something called Ultimate Balcony Dining Package as well. So if you've got a balcony cabin, you've got to have one, of course. You can't do this in an inside or an ocean view cabin. You can dine on your balcony as well. They do this for breakfast, which comes in at $45 for two of you. Or for dinner, a four-course meal with champagne is served on your balcony for $50 per person. Now, this sounds really fantastic, yeah, doesn't it? it? I'd love to lovely. try it. Obviously, you have to have a balcony to enjoy the ultimate balcony and dining. And you get your own personal waiter and everything. It's Sounds fantastic. really nice, yeah. So let's talk about some of the drinks that are going to be included in the price of your cruise. In the buffet, there's a station where you're going to find things like lemonade, iced tea, water, coffee and things. This is available 24 hours a day, completely for free. You can also get a small selection of soft drinks and the standard teas as well from the International Cafe. You can also grab a free glass of champagne or Prosecco at the captain's welcome party. This is where they put all of the glasses up into a big tower, pour champagne in, and then you get a free glass. So fun, isn't it? You can also get yourself a free glass of champagne at the art auction, and some of the stores will do a little event where you'll get a free drink as well. And if you're part of the loyalty member club as well, you can get things like welcome back drinks and welcome back receptions, which include free drinks. So then let's talk about the drinks packages on board. So the main drinks package is the premier beverage package. This includes beer, wine, cocktails, speciality teas and coffees, bottled water and soda fountain water or drinks. This comes in at $59 per person per day for drinks up to the charge of $12. And the non-alcoholic package on board is called the Premier Coffee and Soda Package. This includes tea, coffee, sodas, smoothies and mocktails. This comes in at $19.99 per person per day. And those who don't drink those hot drinks, you can also get the Classic Soda Package. This comes in at $9.99 per person per day. It includes things like sodas, fruit juices, smoothies and mocktails. And Princess also offer the New Ground Coffee Package, where they offer you a certain amount of speciality hot drinks for a set price. Don't forget that there's an 18% gratuity charge on all drinks packages, so you need to bear this in mind. Unless you're travelling within Australia, then there's not the gratuity charge. So if you're not going to choose to have the drinks package, how much are drinks generally going to cost on board? Well, let's take a look. Wine usually comes in at $7 to $9 per glass. Beer usually is about five to six dollars per glass. Cocktails are usually eight to nine dollars per cocktail. Spirits are usually six to nine dollars per shot. And coffee comes in at around three dollars per cup. And you've got to remember there's an 18% gratuity charge on top of this as well. So let's have a look at what entertainment is included on your Princess Cruise. Essentially, all the entertainment is on board is going to be included. This includes the shows in the main theatre and access to all the bars and lounges and live music around the ship as well. You also get free access to the casino, but don't forget you're going to have to pay to play. And there's live music all around the ship and you've got comedy uh, visitors and visiting acts as well as big Broadway shows which are completely included. And one thing that we really love with Princess is Movies Under the Stars where the show Big films under the stars on the main deck and you get free popcorn as well. Yeah, it's really fun. During the day as well, you're going to have lots of activities and live music around the pool. So things like quizzes, game shows, things like that as well. And on a night as well, you'll have themed parties on certain nights of your cruise. So make sure you have a look to see if there's going to be a themed party on your cruise because you might want to bring little costume with you or a fancy dress exactly. or something you don't want to miss out so let's take a look at some of the facilities and activities that are included in the price of your cruise of course things like the pools and the hot tubs are completely included in the price as well as the full fitness gym center and some classes things like zumba 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 
Thunder. Mini golf on board if your ship has it is also included and all the kids clubs are included in the cost of your cruise as well and access to the card rooms and the games rooms and things like that are also no like the library. So let's take a look at some of the facilities and activities that are chargeable. So things like the spa are going to be completely chargeable so you'll pay an a la carte kind of pricing. You can get massages, facials, there's a hair salon, personal training and even teeth whitening. There's full and half day options available and you've also got the thermal suite on board which you'll need to pay for. Also the sanctuary which is a private sunbathing area is an extra charge. You can buy passes for a half day or a full day. And in here it's a little oasis of tranquility so it's a little private cordoned off area with some lovely comfortable sunbeds and there's like a healthy menu and drinks and things and you can also get massages in there as well. And the sanctuary comes in at half a day for $20 per person. Like all mainstream cruise lines, excursions are not included in the cost of your cruise. You can buy these before you board or when you're on board the ship. Yeah, so they're all extra, none are included at all. And these can be pricey, so we make sure you check wisely. Uh, you're guaranteed to get back to the ship on time if you do take one of the excursions though. And the final extra cost is the gratuities. Each day you're on the ship, you'll pay a gratuity charge and this is spread among the crew. Yeah, this is an automatic charge, so your account will be charged every single day unless you chose to prepay your gratuities which you can also do so you can pay the full lump sum before you even get on the ship. Now let's take a look at the cost of these gratuities. For a normal stateroom so things like an inside cabin, ocean view cabin and balcony cabin it's going to be $14.50 US dollars per person per day. For mini suites and club class cabins the charge is $15.50 per person per day. And if you're staying in a suite, it's going to be $16.50 per person per day. And you always have the choice to scale up or scale down, depending on the quality of service that you've received. So guys, we hope that you enjoyed our video of what's included and what's not included on a Princess Cruise. Make sure you give us a subscribe. We've got so many fantastic videos coming up. And hit that bell button so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. If you'd like to support us even further, you can support us on Patreon patreon.com forward slash Ben and David. A big thank you to our cruise captains, cruise captain of the week, Trish. Thanks guys. So that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. I haven't got spaghetti around my face, have I? No, but. You've got a bit on your nose. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we just had dinner. Right there, and on the side. There as well. Oh my God. <laughs> you could go and look in the mirror. See it though, can you? Yeah, it's a massive red blotch. Oh, really?